I remember my mother came home from shopping with a friend and she bought my sister and I a dress made out of paper. One of my first memories, that one dress. We were suburban kids and um, my father was a dentist. I wanted to be a photographer. My sister said to me one day, you get such nice clothes to take pictures of people. Maybe you could just do the clothes part because you're not the best photographer. <laughs> I had the second shop in Soho. It was called the Hop Shop. I'd never heard of a stylist. But, you know, one thing led to another, and I worked for a photographer here and there. And now I'm 65, I'm the style icon. I mean, it makes me laugh. I never set out to make anything. Uh, that just happened. Maybe that's just some kind of instinct for me. I feel like I'm underwater when I'm here. I love shells, I love sand, I love the smell of the sea. We went every single Sunday. Drowning is my biggest fear, to be honest. I guess it's just scary to die in the place you love the most. It seems really dark and lonely down there. I only liked the surface of it. My father was a complete hermit. And my mother would go anywhere at any time to see anything, do anything, meet anybody. And I realized that from nine to five in my life, I'm just like that. Five o'clock, I'm like my father. Every Sunday, we go to my grandmother's house for brunch. Sitting around this big table, everybody would say, where's Linda? I would always be upstairs in a room by myself. I was very strong-willed. If I didn't want to be in that position, I was going to extricate myself. I was proposed to four times. Never got married, never wanted to get married. It didn't feel pressure from my father. My mother was a lot more conventional in that sense. You've got to marry a rich Jewish doctor. I love being alone. That's the thing. I love being by myself. I like to be alone at the beach. I like to be alone at the flea market. I just like to see things by myself. And that's how my oil started, actually. You know, I was making it for myself. If you don't like it, that's okay. I don't need you to like it, really. You want people to like what you do, but that's not the way to, to me to, to do something. I think I'm eccentric, and I think you get older and you get more eccentric. The good thing about getting older is you're so much smarter and so much more accepting in certain ways. I mean, not physically. It's very hard to accept how you look physically, but I think you don't have to conform to anything. Who, you know, what's the difference? They're going to like you or not, and then you can just say, oh, I'm just an old lady. Leave me alone. <laughs>